Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Todd from NC Fit Club. Fist pump! Alright, cool. Uh, today is day 10. Relief. So, I'm not going to show you me stretching because it's going to be kind of boring and there's not really any quote-unquote things to push myself through. So, I want to take this opportunity to kind of do just a little bit of a motivation thing for you guys. Um, I get a lot of emails about the diet and you know working out and I still have this little flab here and a little flab there and I'm going to tell you something that I've realized especially for me and I got a feeling this is probably true for a lot of you guys um, for those of you that don't know I was once about 255 pounds so I've come quite a long way from 255 to 185 um, and there is a part of my psyche that still believes that I'm that 255 pound guy and there is probably a part of me, not probably, there is a part of me that still feels like no matter what I do, it's still not enough. And, and I get compliments from a lot of people from the outside, but sometimes I don't see it myself in the mirror. Because when I look in the mirror, all I see is where I, where I have still yet to go, like where I've still got to get to, instead of seeing what I accomplished. And that's a bad thing. So I'm going to encourage you and I'm going to encourage myself to really focus on your successes Focus on what you're able to achieve, especially a lot of you women out there, for example, that can't do pull-ups and push-ups. If you can only get on, if you can hold the top of plank, and I've seen Tony do this with a lot of women at one of his boot camps, and, and this is a great thing for you guys to do, or ladies. If you can't do a push-up all the way, get in the top of plank, and if you can only come down an inch and back up, that counts. Do it. And over time, as your upper body gets stronger, you know, you can go deeper. And then if you need to do them on your knees, do them on your knees. But what I, my point in all this is focus on the small victories. Focus on what it is that we are achieving as we go through this journey because it's those daily achievements that allow us to appreciate what we have been able to accomplish thus far and helps us to appreciate how, you know, what, what we've got to look forward to and where we're going. And I'm speaking to myself as much as I am to you guys. So I just kind of thought I'd put that out there today. And this stupid cat, I swear, every time I get on camera, he wants to walk around the tripod and shake it. So um, anyway, kind of ruling the moment. Oh, piss pop. Okay, we're back. So anyway, that's my motivation speech. Um, and I'm going to work on it myself because it's something that's been bugging me lately. Because I still have a little bit of flab. You can't see it because the camera's not that low. But I still got a little bit right here at the bottom of my stomach. I watch the videos and I see it and it ticks me off. And it, make, it makes me mad. Even though I see abs, but I don't see... But, I mean, let's just face it, I'm never going to look like Sean T, but I'll be damned if I'm not going to try my hardest to get as toned and as tight as I can. And I'm sure that's how we all feel. But I'm also going to try to learn how to be happy with where I am while I'm here and not focus on what, you know, and, and beat myself up too much. So there it is. There's my motivation for today. All right? I feel like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, the trolley car needs to come rolling in here or something, and I need to take my shoes off and put my sweater on and go walking through the kitchen. All right. So that's it. We're done. Uh, today was my relief workout. I'm actually getting ready to do it right now, but I'm not going to show you. So I will see you tomorrow, and guess what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is going to be doubles. Basketball in the morning, game day in the afternoon. What? Yeah. Let's do it. See you tomorrow.